Praise be to Jesus. A warm welcome to today's Gospel Reflection. The Mother Church is giving us the solemn canticle of Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, for our recollection today. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. With this prayer of the psalmist, let us listen to the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 67 to 79. His father Zechariah, filled with the Holy Spirit, sang this canticle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come and redeemed his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. In the house of David, his servant, as he promised through his prophets of old, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of those who hate us. He has shown mercy to our fathers and remembered his holy covenant, the oath he swore to Abraham, our father, to rescue us from our enemies, that we might serve him fearlessly as a holy and righteous people all the days of our lives. And you, my child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you shall go before the Lord to prepare the way for him. The canticle of Zechariah is one of the three canticles sung to praise the God of Israel in St. Luke's Gospel. Also known as Benedictus is the song of thanksgiving uttered by Zechariah on the occasion of the circumcision and naming of St. John the Baptist. The hymn is addressed to the Israelite people about their long cherished messianic hopes and to John the Baptist emerging as the prophet and forerunner of the Messiah whose kingdom of peace is about to begin. Through God's graciousness and compassion, a child is born to Zechariah and Elizabeth in their old age. Unbelievable perhaps, but everything is possible in the dictionary of God. And so, Zechariah and Elizabeth believed in the miracles of God and that made him open up his lips to praise God aloud. He praised a God who is merciful, kind, compassionate and gracious. What does it mean for us Catholics that we sing this song every morning? After having been silenced by sleep throughout the night, God opens our mouths and one of the first things we do is to sing this blessing of God whose dawn breaks forth to shine on us and guide our way to peace. In the Benedictus, we join ourselves to the mission of St. John the Baptist who came to prepare a way for the Lord by being a witness of God's salvation, living a simple and penitential life and calling others to do the same. Amidst trials and pains, are we able to praise and thank the Lord God? Are we free-minded to add, subtract, edit or delete our difficulties or problems of life in the light of faith? The spiritual enlightening that is hidden in this canticle of Zechariah requires us today to ventilate our emotions, our sadness, our sickness, our tribulations to a God, the Creator. Let us pray. Give us the grace, O Lord God, to use our voice like 
Zechariah and John the Baptist and to make your presence known wherever we go and whom, whoever we encounter today. Amen.